Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Manuel Torres as my prospect to watch out for. Um, I think this is going to be a new series I do. Every week I pick a prospect or a fighter that people should watch out for. And I think, of course, this one's a pretty easy one after his last performance. I think Manuel Torres against Chris Duncan. I had Torres winning. I didn't expect him to win by uh, submission like he did. But he's really good. A 15-2 and two at 1, 2, 3, 4, wait. Two, four, six wins in a row. He was nine and two the last time he had lost. So definitely a prospect people should watch out for. And again, that might be like, yeah, duh. But I think he needs a little bit more light on. This guy is the confidence for one, the ability to get hurt and still come back. This is his third fight in the UFC and they've all been finishes. Now he does have quite a bit of first round finishes. I think they said he had uh, all of his wins, oh, wait, 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 he has 14 finishes, one decision, 14 first round finishes, yeah, so, I do think there will become a time where he goes longer than, um, than the first round, and I think it's very interesting to see who could that be, and I think we need to talk about that today, who could it be, and who are some fun matchups, so, on topology is typically what I use, um, I just, I just like how they have the list, the fighters, the uh, scheduled fights, all those things, the record, all that. All that. So, Manuel Torres right now is ranked 47, which, okay, sure, he has three fights, three finishes. But he's going to get a big, big fight. So, who can he fight that I think is tough, that can test him? Looking um, at it automatically, like first glance, Rafa Garcia. I think that could be a really good fight. Rafa is very durable. Good cardio, good wrestling background, could maybe drag him into deep water, or uh, uh, Manuel Torres could keep his finishing rate attacked, intact. So I think Rafa Garcia could definitely be one. You know, and then, of course, there's another one where I think it could be an incredible matchup. Nazim Sadikov. Nazim Sadikov at 9-1-1. One, one. He's won quite a bit in a row, just went to a draw with uh, Slava Claus. But he has been looking real good. Nine wins in a row. And with eight finishes out of nine wins, it's pretty dang impressive if you ask me. So, you know, and then I think the biggest, the biggest matchup I think we can honestly hope for, personally, is Nasseret Haparast. I think with his footwork, with his hand speed, with Manuel Torres' finish ability, and uh, uh, quick starting, quick starts that he has... I think could absolutely uh, be an incredible matchup. But personally, the matchup that I want to see more than any matchup that I've been talking about, and the last one that we will talk about here today, is Drew Dober, baby. Drew Dober, 27 wins, 13 losses, one no contest. He's 3-4, uh, 4-2 four, four in his last six fights, 1-2 in his last three. I don't care about that. Drew Dober, with 20 finishes in his career, 20. Unbelievable. 20 finishes in his career. Uh, 13, 9, and 1 in his UFC career overall. Again, this is a great matchup. Uh, I mean, so good. We've seen Drew Dober get hit with some crazy shots, eat, you know, get dropped, come back, and win these fights. But Drew Dober versus Manuel Torres is an absolute dream matchup. That matchup is would be insane we know drew dober's not shooting takedowns we know he's gonna go right in there use footwork try to land that left hand and oh good googly moogly what a fun fight that could be and as always guys if you ever if you have somebody else you'd like to see in a fight put it down there in the comment section and if you are new to the, to this channel subscribe to the channel like the video share it it helps helps so so much with youtube algorithm as always, you guys know what it is. On the road to 2,000 subscribers, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much. As always, peace.